what's up guys, Muggy here and today I am giving you a sort of pros and cons video for the Battlefield 1 beta uh, in my eyes, blah 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 blah. So yeah, um, I'm going to start off with the cons and then I'm going to do the uh, obviously pros and then I've got like a small little announcement kind of thing at the end. So yeah, stay till the end to see that. So yeah, let's get straight into the cons. Uh, so yeah, um, there is um, a lot of bugs and glitches in Battlefield 1's beta, but obviously that's expected as it is a beta. I mean, that's the whole point of it, to find the bugs and glitches, to see um, what they need to tweak. Um, and so there is this one bug or glitch uh, that is probably the worst and they seriously need to fix, like, now. Um, it's, um, well, it's actually uh, happened to me and my friends as we were playing a game. We were attacking on Rush, and we were in, well, we had just finished a round of, um, Rush, and then the next round we would be attacking. So, we, uh, were waiting in the, sort of, um, the, uh, menus, uh, so, you know, you know the menu where you can, you know, the end of round menu where you can see who was like trigger happier or who was the highest scorer and things like that. Um, Jesus, it's raining like a motherfucker. Damn. Uh, sorry. Um, fucking somebody's texting me now. Oh, Jesus, everything's gonna go wrong in there. Right, anyway, anyway. Um, so yeah. Um,. Yeah, we were we were in the um, you know in the end menus, and uh, one of our friends or one of our one of our guys in our in our squad, um, he actually got into the game without even seeing that screen. So he was in uh, the game on on the attacking side uh, on his own. He was there was no enemies and there was no friendlies with him. He was literally just in the rush game on his own, and we were all waiting to be spawned into that rush game. Um, and that's basically the glitch. There's, there'll be like one or two people, uh, only from one team though, um, who will go and they will they will just completely skip that script, the end round, the end round screen or the round end screen and they will be in the game already. Um, in this aspect, it actually worked out to our favor because he was able to plant about four of the bombs on the MCOMs. He, so he blew up four MCOMs before the game actually even officially started. So we had a massive advantage with that, and but that's the unfair thing. We had a huge advantage because he was glitched in and yeah. So, I mean, that is a serious bug that they need to fix. Um, another con is that um, the, uh, for me, this is for me personally, I don't know about anybody else, but the semi-automatic rifles uh, for the medic just doesn't seem to fit. I just don't see why, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to, they seem underpowered to me. They seem, they just don't seem usable for me. Obviously, I'm uh, more of a support uh, play style, uh, but obviously you'll see in the background gameplay, I, I do, I was playing medic and I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad at it. So, yeah, um, it's, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know whether it's just me and my play style or whether it's gen, they're generally underpowered or whatever. I mean, yeah, I've had some decent kills, but it was really, I think, to be honest, they are only good for medium range. You can't really get any close range kills and you can't really get any long range kills. So medium range is literally the only use and to be honest on the map we've been given medium range isn't always um, the option it's usually close range or long range and yeah um, so yeah that's that's the, um, the, um, the cons I'm pretty sure uh, so let's move on to the pros um, the pros for me are of course not only the graphics because the graphics are amazing, I mean, the character models look awesome, the animations look awesome when you're getting in a vehicle or, way, or when you're swapping a, your seat in a plane, um, that looks amazing. Uh, just, just, that's general, I mean, that is DICE for you, that is the Frostbite engine for you, it is generally a, a really nice looking thing. Um, the map does have some issues, but I won't go into detail with those, if you do want to um, listen to somebody talk about the maps, defaults or whatever um 
uh, defects or defaults um, the maps defects uh, go watch Westy um, he's a way better um, battlefield youtuber than me and I'm pretty sure you've heard of him um, so yeah uh, just check him out and you know he'll probably tell you everything you need to know about battlefield 1 um, so yeah uh, it looks amazing but the number one pro for me is the teamwork in battlefield 4 uh, teamwork, I mean, it was strong, and, you know, you and your squad would go into an objective, you'd wipe out everybody in the objective, and then you'd take the objective for your, uh, team, uh, or you'd, uh, you know, you'd, uh, tactically move up to different objectives and things like that, uh, as a squad, and you'd work as a team to take out enemies and things like that, but in this game, it's even, you know, it's like times by ten. Um, a good example is that uh, we were in a conquest game, me and my friends, and I was driving a land ship, or whatever it's called. Um, I had two friends in the side cannons, and then we had people in the gunners as well, in like, you know, the light gunners. We were all just a squad, we were all in a party, uh, we were all communicating, and we we lasted for about half a match uh, until the, uh, you know, we were just dominating everybody, we were taking out uh, everything, and that's because we were t communicating and we were working as a team, and it really, really worked. Um, but then, um, halfway through the match, we got hit by a bomber, um, I was repairing at sea, um, and a squadron um, on the enemy team decided that they had enough of us and went a full squad of assaults and threw their anti-tank grenades at us in sync and I must give it to them there was some of the best teamwork they um, I've ever seen in a game because working together like that was actually a, a great idea and we, we literally had no chance and whoever those guys were they were actually a really good um, a really good team and they had some really good ideas because uh I, you know we were vulnerable there we were sat there repairing and about seven to about like 12 freaking uh anti-tank grenades came flying away and it was it was completely insane so yeah it was absolutely you know awesome to see that um so yeah that's my pros and cons for battlefield 1's beta but now it's for the little announcement thing so uh, you might have uh, recently, you know, understood that uh, YouTube have changed its terms of service and things like that. Um, but now they're starting to take action and they're starting to demonetize and age restrict people's videos. And, you know, it's hurting people. It's, it's really taking somebody's livelihood away from them. And it's literally, um, basically firing people. Um, I mean, they're taking away their money uh, and they're taking away their jobs just because they're swearing in a video or saying, you know, something like that. I mean, swearing in a video, I'm pretty sure 99% of YouTube swears in their videos. And, uh, yeah, I just, um, I mean, I swear in a lot of my videos and... I mean, everybody who does swear in their videos, they know that, of course, children do watch their videos, but they have no control over that. It's, um, I personally say that their, the parents are, uh, partly to blame as if they don't really give a shit about what their children, you know, listen to or whatever. I mean, yeah, I mean, my parents, they, they don't really give a shit about what we listen to, but, you know, they've got a rule. Don't fucking repeat it. I mean... I, I may repeat it, yeah. That was probably... i just broken the fucking rule there. Oh, uh, see? Um, uh, yeah. It, this, well, this, in, this entire thing isn't going to hurt me as much. I'm just complaining for the bigger YouTubers. Um, I mean, look at me. I'm like 50, what, 54 subscribers? And I don't know. I, I, I It's not really going to affect me. I mean, I don't give a shit whether they age restrict me or whatever the fuck. Because, I mean, kids just always find a way, right? I mean... 20, no, not even 20%, like 50% of Facebook's, um, like, Facebook's members or whatever, I'm pretty sure they're, like, 10-year-olds who've set their birth year as 1972, and that means they're, like, older than their mum and dad and shit, so, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, it, it is just, um, ridiculous, I mean, th there's, there's always ways to bypass the age restriction and things like that, so, yeah, I mean, it's just a stupid idea that they're age restricted and demonetizing videos just for a few words that are frowned upon 
in some types of society. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, I'm going to just leave it here. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. If you uh, want to give me constructive c criticism, there we go, I can say it right, uh, comment down below. And if you want to give me deconstructive criticism, comment that down below as well. Because to be honest, I don't give a shit. So, I've been the Men and Monkey Guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Banana.